This is another mod I've done. I've put a polystyrene underneath here and then there's a three more piece of ply that I've painted white. It reduces the temperature inside quite a bit. A big difference to having just a metal top. And this is another mod that we've done for when we've got electricity. Uh, I've put in a Defy 9000 BTU portable aircon. That's the vent out. And then I've got a piece of 3 mil ply again that I've mounted it onto. I'll now show you from the outside. And that's now the outside. And this is a Kiva that I've done it on. And the three more piece of ply fits in behind the, the rubber here and at the top. And you cut out for the latch to latch. I slide it across when we have the aircon in and that for the strut to go into. And that's the vent out again. When we have the aircon on, we close the, the net and the canvas on the inside up to the corner to stop any air coming in from this side. And then another mod that I did, so we can leave this open at night if it's raining. When the rain won't come in the sides here, we put in a piece of canvas on the side. Well, I've sewed that up. And then I put a piece of rail here again onto the door. And then another piece again onto the body. This piece over here. And it goes into there and onto the lid there. And then this piece here is normal that bush lop is supplied for over the door. And that makes quite a difference. We've got one on both sides. So you can see it like that and then we've got it fixed to the ground. I need to find a better way to fix it to the ground. If there's a bit of a strong wind, those come loose. I need to find some other way. I'm not quite sure yet. And then that's another one on the other side. So it almost looks like a, a bed there, but there's no bed in the Kiva. So you get a lot more airflow with that open. And another mod to my pipes for the geezer you can see here they are on a stopcock t stopcock and then this one is a stopcock to close off the water from the main tank and then i plug a hose in if you're on site like from a pyre in botswana for example you can plug a hose onto here and then use water from the tap going through the geezer it's quite handy if you've got water on site, not wanting to use your water from the your main tank. We've just arrived at Mata Mata Rest Camp. The road has been absolutely terrible. I hope they're going to grade it at some stage. Jeez, you've got a fat tummy, lady. You've got more babies in there. Eh?
this is the youngest raw one that we've ever seen. Eh? I don't think we've seen such a small one before. Hey. Hey, well, look right at the camera. Hey. Hey, you said small guys, aren't you? Hmm? A beautiful sunrise this morning. There's a couple of clouds in the sky which will be burnt away before we know it. I think the temperature today is going to be 42 degrees. Another scorcher of the day. moment at 17 degrees yesterday evening we helped somebody with their, their fridge freezer it had uh, on the road the fan had come loose bumped the fan loose and the fan had got hooked into the part of the compressor side there and it broken three fan blades off the fan. So we were able to help them with the help of the guys from the park. And uh, we got it running and I've just spoken to them now and they said that it's not freezing but it's got down to four degrees. Uh, which is better than the 17 that they had yesterday. So they'll have to buy a new fan for it. And they were going through to Namibia. You definitely don't see sunrises like this in the UK, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
moment the road is really, really corrugated. It really needs to be dragged or graded. Lena having a it's breakfast. Quite nice light on it, eh? Mm. Still picking the feathers, eh? Mm. Amazing, really, eh? When you look at it. You know, oh, there you are. I think it must be a dove, eh? Mm. By the look of it.
Just arriving at uh, Palenzo campsite. The drive up here, everything is so so dry. I don't know whether you can see in the video either side of the road. It's beginning to look more and more like a desert, eh? But we did do a, a turn at the waterhole first. There seem to be a lot of battleers down there at the moment, which is great. And there were two vultures, I think. And yeah? a secretary bird. And a secretary bird, yeah. So hopefully we'll see something here. This is at Palenzo waterhole. There's lots of them around today. Beautiful. There's a juvenile back there, there as well. There's four adults and two juvenile battleers. Sorry, three. And what about this hawk here or something at the back here in this tree?
male stretching. These might be the only lines that we see at Palenza. <laughs> hope not. Yeah, I hope not as well, but quite possible. Eh? I don't know where the rest of the Palenza Pride is because they haven't made it since we've been here. The male got up to come down and drink as well, but then he's, he just lay down in the shade again. Yeah, she's going back to them, to the male, I think. Give him a bite on the bum and say, go and have a drink. This is the mail from Palenzo Waterhole last night. We've, this is now the next day, morning. The tracks we followed right from Palenzo Waterhole right down to Kosant.
We don't see the female at the moment. I'm not quite sure where she is. And that's the beautiful sunrise we've got this morning. Too hot for you, make a move, go and have a drink of water. Come on, off you go. And then lie under the tree there. He's not going to go and drink, eh? Eh? Drink, he's going to look for shade instead. <laughs> 